As you can see, there's a lot of junk that's been accumulated over the years. It is the weirdest design of a house I've ever seen. I don't know how they got it in here, but there's a giant hot tub in here. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Investors have bought this quarter house, and uh, so it's a complete trash out for us as opposed to kind of sorting through everything. It is the weirdest design of a house I've ever seen. You can tell that it's been added on multiple times, but the flow makes zero sense. So this is one heck of a rehab, and uh, honestly, I'm kind of glad it's not mine because I don't have time for something this big. But uh, the mirrors date it, like all this stuff is just so dated. So uh, I would guess this house was built in the 50s and maybe the last time it was updated was the 70s. So um, once again, we're waiting on dumpsters as usual. Uh, we're supposed to have four coming here. We've got 10 workers. So uh, my goal was to get this done in a day, but I have a feeling that the dumpsters are gonna slow us down. I haven't seen one of these in ages. <laughs> I'm nostalgic. pound VHS tape machine. Probably one of the early ones. Looking good. The cigarette fell out, you hear me? <laughs> this place is <laughs> There's a dude from the 70s. <laughs> Yeah. 
as you can see here, um, both large amounts of mold on the drywall and stuff like that. But also this right here, these rough edges and everything else. This is from rats and other rodents chewing through the drywall to get into the house. So my guess is this probably leads up somewhere near the roof where there's probably a hole in the roof that rodents are getting in. About 15 centimeters or 15 inches going this way and another 15 inches going up. Squeeze and fill, concrete crack filler, laundry soap, a lot of everything. Earlier when I looked in here, there's a couple of roaches too. <laughs> Checking the attic's crawl space. Wow. There's a doll in A very saturated and creepy doll. I think that plate today has some creepy dolls. So we've got a midday update. It's uh, 10 minutes till 2 p.m. and we just got our first dumpster. Nice for reliability, not so much. So as you can see, we have a ton. I estimated 160 cubic yards of waste. I might have, I might have underestimated it. We're gonna see if it'll fit uh, in 160 yards of dumpster. So this house has illegal add-ons, you can tell, uh, that are not permitted because they're not done right. And it seems like this house looks tiny from the front, but it goes on forever. And uh, every room has a massive amount of hoard. So uh, because of the dumpster companies and their lack of um, reliability, we're probably not gonna be able to get this done in one day. Uh, we just don't have anywhere to deposit this stuff. So the guys are moving really, really fast. We're gonna fill this up before they can even come back and bring the second. anything like this in any house. I mean, this is pretty bad craftsmanship. I mean, whoever built the house with a vent like this, I mean, I've never seen the stuffing come out like that. That could be dangerous. I mean, I'm, I don't know, just, it's a pretty old house, but still, hopefully the new owners uh, get that fixed fast. I mean, I'd hate to see that fall out or just drop down. I can make a heck of a big mess. Have you ever wanted to become a crime scene cleaner like me? Well, now you can. Spalding Decon has put together a variety of courses that can teach you everything you need to know about becoming a crime scene cleaner. We'll explain everything on how to get crime scene cleaning jobs, how to clean up biohazard and hordes. Click the link in our bio and use promo code CHITTY for 10% off. And CHITTY is spelled C-H-I-T-T-Y. Thanks. 
Hey guys, day two of this giant horde here. We made some fantastic progress. We filled up uh, three dumpsters already, and we just got two new 40 yarders uh, delivered. So I, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to knock it out uh, today with those just just those two 40s. But come take a look at our progress. So not only did we get all the contents out of the front of the house, we got all the carpet and the padding as well. And that goes all the way through here. And then the kitchen as well. Um, we've got some appliances that we're gonna end up sending over to scrappers. Um, and just some little items here, but this room is clear. The bedrooms are clear in the back. So let me show you what we have left. So this area here is a hot mess. It was like their own personal dumpster. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. It's just thrown in here. There's some really old stuff in here. And then this attachment here is, uh, we still got contents in here. So we've got this room, uh, this little closet here, and then uh, the garage. Uh, we got some big bulky items and a lot of just loose annoying items, but uh, I'm pretty confident we've got the same guys back today, so uh, I think we can knock it out today. an A-track. It's like back from like the 70s. It's before uh, actual cassette players and way before DVDs and CDs we used to play these. Judging by the staining and the smell that's coming from it, I'd have to say it's got to be pet urine. I'm not too sure if it's mold or something leaked there and just accumulated a lot of you know, dust bunnies and hair and stuff over the years, but it's kind of suspect. So as you can see here, there's termite damage in the wood. I mean, it's literally just, you look at that, you can see in the back, it's falling apart. This goes into the sauna room or whatever room it is that they, they're making this, but uh, this is the damage we need to let the owners know because we need to get this taken care of as soon as possible. As you can see, we're in the garage and it looks like at one point they carpeted it. I mean, they put padding and everything and the carpet to make it into another room. But look at it now, I mean, we're going to tear up the carpet, which is pretty old and ancient. It's like so brittle. I barely even cut it with the knife and it just falls apart. So it's pretty old carpet. I don't know how they got it in here, but there's a giant hot tub in here. And uh, the only way it's coming out is by breaking it up. Oh, yeah. oh it's a pot pie chain. Hey guys, an update for today. We're about three hours into it. We've already filled another 80 yards of waste and we still have more. So we've got a sixth 
dumpster on its way. All this stuff behind me here is metal. So what we do is we separate the metal and I have a guy here that comes and picks it up and scraps it. So it's uh, free labor for us, environmentally better, and it also makes him money. So it's a win-win all the way around. Right here. Right there, you got it. Yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of mold or some residual leftovers from uh, the chemicals that were on this shelf yeah, that probably. we just broke apart. As you can see, it's been there for quite a while. Hey guys, we are finally at the conclusion here of this giant hoard. We had six dumpsters, about 30 tons of garbage in this very odd layout home. We had 10 guys working with us to complete it in two days. So uh, it was very uh, difficult. We had uh, an odd looking kind of hot tub in one area. We had, uh, it just kept going rooms and rooms and rooms. So super glad that we were able to finish it up here and uh, hopefully the client can start uh, fixing it up and making it beautiful again for uh, somebody else to move into. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.